unto thee. O Lord, who is like unto thee? Among the gods who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, always do his wonders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Land down well of my man and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord. Mighty and everlasting Father, the great I am that I am, we thank you for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. We reverence you because there is no one like unto you. Yes, Lord. The hour has come. We want to dine with you. We ask, O oh God, that you, God, will come down at this hour to the shaping our life and let everything, O oh God, we are going to do at this hour bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Thank you, Asians of the Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Take your seat, but don't take it home. Very quickly, we shall quickly be looking at the scriptures in the book of James, chapter 3. I'll read from verse number 1. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouth, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Verse number four. Behold also the sheep which tow, they be so great, and are driven of years wind, yet are they turn about with a very small hem, whithersoever the governor listed. Verse number five. Even so, the tongue is a little member, and boasted great things. Behold, how great a matter, a little fire kindled. Verse number six, the last verse. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of hell. Ladies and gentlemen, very quickly, this hour I want to speak on what the Lord has given to us on the topic I titled, O Lord, he my tongue. Everybody take that prophetic prayer and say, Oh Lord, heal my tongue. Oh Lord, heal my tongue. You can do better than that. Oh Lord, heal my tongue. Today, by the grace of God, I like you to give me your attention because this very many people being a Christians or non-Christians, they be able to mortgage themselves, their souls. In most of all of this stuff, in talking roughly and saying things that ought not to. And the Bible says, let the words that come out of your mouth minister grace to the hearers. And by the grace of God today, the Bible also said, life and death are in the power of his tongue. This tongue is the smallest part in the body. But it can wreak havoc. 
it can destroy and pull down nations. The situations the country are today is as a result of a word said by a man that had placed everyone on a gang mire. And people are battling with the word he said, subsidy is gone. Every man we eat of the fruit of his tongue. When you go out there, you will discover that there are a lot of people who are in the prison yard, the innocents. But some are victims of what they say with their tongue, with their mouth. Many marriages today have been broken and destroyed, shattered and scattered because of the use of the tongue wrongly. Life, death is in the tongue. You want to live, use it well. You want to die, you eat, use it wrongly. People have Posted. People have said things they ought not to say out of pride. So today, permit me that every one of us will be given the access, the opportunity to pray to God to heal our tongue. You are what you are today because of the utterances. You say you uttered. And I have always said, show me your tongue and I will tell you your spiritual condition. Show me your tongue. I will tell you your spiritual condition. I will tell you the stuff you are made of. I will tell you the stuff you are made of. Look at your spiritual conditions. How much have you been able to update and upgrade your life? Because very many of us use the tongue wrongly, abusing, cursing, saying things we are not supposed to say. Boastful. And don't forget that the tongue is unruly. Deadly. It's a killer. And it's a poison. It can wreck that nation. Just like we are seeing and facing today. So today... We are going to examine our life, examine ourselves, check our life, use our tongue to count our teeth and beginning to see how much we have been using this mouth, this tongue. Roughly, many homes have been shattered because so many people don't know how to use, I am sorry. You step on somebody's, instead of you to use the word, I am sorry, you are saying, uh -huh, if I match you, what happens? If I insult you, what now happens? What will become of it? And this has destroyed the reputations of so many people, so many persons in life today. So we're going to pray, God, heal my tongue. I told you how I was settling a conflict between a man and a woman. And after listening to both parties and all of that, I saw that the woman was wrong. And I said, apologize to your husband. And she said, me to apologize to this one. Why? I said, because you were wrong. 
How can you open your mouth and begin to compare your husband with another man? And you are saying, go and look at that man. Go and look at that man. You are not ashamed of yourself. I regret having you as a husband. You that cannot even feed the family. That man give his wife 50000 to go to the market. And you are giving me how much? And the man say, ask her. In all of the money I give, I still buy bag of fries, have bag of beans, oil, palm oil, granite oil, tomatoes. I still put them in the house just to go out, buy fish. And the woman said, hey, that is how I started insulting the fathers and all of that. The man said, no, you have gone too far. And I said, apologize. She said, why will I apologize? After much pressure, she was like, eh, Daddy, it's because of you. It's because of you. It's because of you. I said, because of me? Or because of what you have said? And I said, because of you. Otherwise, why would, I, why would I apologize? Now, she did that for almost like two, three, four, five times. And the man could not condole her. The last time I saw her, she was already out of that matrimonial home. The use of her mouth. And there is no man, any man who sees her outside, we still want to marry her. But by the time she still start demonstrating her previous character, the man wants to send her word packing. Let's learn how to use the word, I am sorry. Proverbs 15 verse number one says, a soft answer, it turns away Rot. When a man is on top of his anger and you go down on your knee and say, I am sorry. I, I, I will not do it again. It was a mistake. Those words will begin to bring down the anger of that man. That's what the Bible says. What can you do? The use of the tongue. You want to tell a man, what can he do? The same thing is applicable to men too. So men talk roughly, wrongly to their wife, to their workers, to their children. So every one of us under the sound of my voice, we must learn today and pray to God to heal our tongue. We must learn to control our tongue. In public, in our offices, in our working place, in our matrimonial home. What killed Goliath was the use of his mouth and tongue. For 40 days, Goliath was ranting. And dragging the children of the Israelites to battle. And he says, bring in one man to fight with me. If I kill you, all of you will be subject to the Philistines. Slaves and servants. But if you... And for 40 days, he was ranting. Until David brought food to his brothers in the camp and had him using his word, his tongue, roughly to defy the children of God. Anyone who has woke up at the middle of the night to use his tongue to curse you, that curse is revived in the name of Jesus Christ. he was ranting and David said no who is this uncircumcised Philistine using and defiling the armies of God don't use your tongue anyhow the tongue you use to bless don't use it anyhow the Bible says be quick to hear 
and be slow to speak. Any man who can bridle his tongue, anyone that can control his tongue, can control his life and live a longer life. The battles you are facing right now is as a result of your tongue. Very many of you, your helpers have left you because of the use of your tongue towards them. And they had it. What has it done for me? What has she done for me? And the person got to hear what you have seen behind him. And he says, it's okay. If you claim and think I've done nothing, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it that way. And you will never get anything from there. There is nobody that God has not sent destiny helpers. It is very unfortunate that very many of you, you have used bossing kids to remove the teeth of your destiny helpers. Many of you have slaughtered them. You have assassinated their character in public. You have defied them with your tongue. How do you expect them to come back for you again? I beg of us, let us control our tongue. Anywhere we are. When you say, it's just like Thanksgiving is coming up, and somebody is saying, I can't I can't. The moment you are using that word, Satan is doing what? He's tapping it. I can't. I can't. Satan is doing what? He's tapping it. He's tapping it. Don't speak negative things about yourself. Always tell yourself, I can do it. I'm not surprised when I see church like this. I don't lose memory because anytime we have program like this, things like this always happen until after. For how long we continue to run away from God? For how long? You are who you are today, if not for God. Outside God, remove God away from your life. You are a nobody. You are a shadow of yourself. Don't always use that word. Don't frustrate the boldness and the minds of other persons and people by going from house to house, picking call to begin to call. Don't do that. You are destroying yourself and destroying the life of others. And so, look at Ananias and Sapphira. There are people who are special and professional liars. And so when they sold the property, the disciple just asked, is it true you sold this property for this amount? And the wife said, yes. Yes. What happened? She fell down and died. Don't lie to put your neighbor in bondage, in cage, in captivity. Don't use your tongue to bring down people. And look at her. That clothes she's wearing. It's not expensive. That clothes. When she's just making your gown shelege. I price that that same cloth, that same pattern, that same design in you know, Onicha. And they told me it's just a thousand naira. The one she's telling you now that she bought it 40, 45,000. You want to do what? Bring down the integrity and reputation of that person with your tongue. When a man is proving difficult, it is only the wife that can get everything and anything from him by the sweet way. We have heard now when the king was saying, if the daughter wants to get anything from him, she come around and say, 
daddy, daddy, daddy. The best daddy in the car. I need money. I need this. I need that. We don't even praise him. We don't even exhort him. We don't even lift him high and, and all of that. We forget all his sovereignty and attributes. Instead of us to come before him and say, oh, Baba God, you are too much. You are the Otoknado. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the first. You are the last. You are the ancients of days. Who am I if not for you? When you have done that and you say, God, I need financial breakthrough. Because you have elevated him in worship, he responds to you. A man was telling me, there are things I cannot give to my wife. I said, why? She's your wife. I said, yes, I know. Everything I do for her, she has never opened her mouth to say thank you. I said, then you let her know. Draw attention to her many times. I told her several times, and she would not listen. It's not a right. It would be a privilege. Learn to use your tongue. Learn to do what? Use your tongue well. There are people you don't allow them to talk in public. Because one word from them scatter the organization. One word that will come out from their mouth is a bomb that would discourage others. And that is why when you have a platform of group of people, you select people to attend such meetings or allow them to talk. Even in the parliament, those who want to talk will be raising up their hand. Yes, yes, I, I. Ignore them because one word from them to scatter everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just ignore them. If there are nobody to talk, just close the program. And say, so, yeah, everybody, let's share the grace and let's go home. May God heal our tongue today in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. I say, may God heal our tongues today in the name of Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. May God heal our tongues today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lastly, stop, stop insulting people, downgrading people, people in higher positions today. Very many of them, because they think they are in that position, they mean they can say anything and all of that. You have to listen to yourself first before you utter a word. You have to be very careful before you dish out a word from your mouth. Pray, God, heal my tongue. When your tongue is healed, people will listen to you. Your wife will listen to you. Your husband will listen to you. Your children will listen to you. People out there will listen to you. Don't talk anyhow. Don't speak anyhow. Don't be so rash in your words, in your utterance, especially when you are in public. If you don't know how to talk, pray. See it as a prayer point. Tell God, cry to God. God, I don't know why they don't allow me to talk or speak in public. I know it's as a result of my words. Heal my tongue for me. Heal my tongue for me. No man is stinging. But when you as the wife don't know the principles, the right use of your tongue to get what you want, it becomes an issue. When you are as a child, you don't know the best word to use on your parents, you will always be denied 
of everything you are looking for. And it's applicable to God. Come before his presence with praises, with singing, with worship. Do that for hours before you place your demand before him. Don't always stand before him with your demands. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. With these little words you have heard today, you that man in power, in position, learn to use your tongue rightly. Tell the people what we bring their spirit down. We cool their temper. You that woman, learn to use your tongue on your husband the right way. A soft answer, the Bible says, turn it away, rot. You can stand better again. You can do better again. Amen. Every child should learn. And I pray for your tongue. Let that tongue be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your tongue be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your tongue be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. When your tongue is healed, your home is healed. Your Amen. business is healed. Amen. Your marriage is here. Amen. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen.